ready everyone welcome to another OBS tutorial on this channel in today's video I would like to show you the best OBS settings for your 1080p 60 FPS live streams so let's go for it okay so in case your OBS is already running we can go straight towards the settings and now the all show starts we can left general as it is in the default then we will go to stream then you will choose the platform where you want to stream in our case let's say we are going towards the twitch now in case of twitch i want to use stream key on twitch the stream key can be found as follows you will click on your like logo of your channel you will go to creator dashboard and then you will simply click on settings and you will go to stream and here as you can see you can find your primary stream key of course i don't want to show it to you but you will simply click on copy and then you will paste it into your obs okay nextly we got here output first of all what you want to change in your output is the output mode here you will put it to advanced instead of the simple and of course make sure that we are setting up the streaming settings as this video is about the best streaming settings for your live streams so as we are going down audio track we can keep at one which what track I don't like to choose any of those so uncheck audio encoder it's the only one you can choose of so keep it as it is and then video encoder here big things starting to happen uh, what is video encoder basically it depends on whether you have stronger CPU or GPU and of course if your GPU is Nvidia so basically in case your CPU is much stronger than your GPU then you are going for x264 or even if you have the amd graphic card okay so then you are going for x264 but recently so much better settings for video encoder is nvidia advanc h264 but for this of course you need to have nvidia graphics card firstly and also it would be much better if your graphics card would be stronger than your processor but if they are approximately at the same level it really doesn't matter and you can go for the nvidia nvenc Okay, but as I'm NVIDIA and Venk user and it's much more dominant choice currently, we will firstly start with the NVIDIA and Venk H264 format. So firstly we got here rescale output as we want to stream in 1080p, I don't want to change these settings at all. Okay, now let's go towards the encoder settings. First of all, rate control. Make sure that you have set CBR, what is constant, bitrate rate. That means your bitrate will be constantly on what you will set. So basically for Twitch, Kik, YouTube or any other live stream, you want always to choose CBR. Nextly we got here bitrate. Here it depends quite a lot on your internet. So in case you have really slow internet or below 5 megabit internet, I would consider not to stream 1080p. But as this video is the best OBS settings for 1080p, I will consider that your internet is quite good, at least 10 megabits per second. And therefore you can go for any bitrate you want. So for bitrate, let's say that you are going to stream towards the Twitch. For this, you want to choose 6000 bitrate, as this is the maximum that Twitch allows to go through their servers. In case you are going towards the YouTube, you can choose even higher bitrate. As I will put for you towards the description the information at what kind of resolution, what kind of bitrate you are supposed to use. Okay, nextly we are going for the keyframe interval. Keyframe interval determines how often the whole picture is transmitted. So in our case, we want to put here two seconds. Next we got here preset. It quite much depends on your setup. Preset is intended to indicate how fast the encoder should run. Faster presets will use less CPU at the cost of quality computations. Slower presets will use more computations for quality, but will use much more CPU. So, in case your setup is strong, you can go for the better quality or even the best quality. If your setup is not so good, you are going towards the faster preset. So in the end, you have to try which one works best for you. But I suggest to start with the medium and try whether your stream looks good, not so good, how your PC is running, whether it's not lagging and much more. So this is the setting with which you want to experiment. Because I can clearly tell you that for the best 1080p 60fps settings, the best settings is the slowest best quality. Because your stream will have the best video quality that you can imagine. But in case your PC is not built for the slowest, the best quality preset, it will simply not run at all, it will be laggy and in the end the stream quality will be horrible. So as I don't know what kind of setup you got, I can't tell you which of those you should choose. But as I'm telling, as you are going slower, the better quality of your stream it is. 
Nextly, we got here tuning. Here, you want to go for high quality. Only in case that you have bad internet, what again, I don't expect because you are trying to stream in 1080p 60 FPS, then you would go for low latency or even ultra low latency. But in our case, as we are trying to get the best possible 1080p 60 FPS settings, we are going for high quality. Nextly, we got here multipass mode. Here, if the hardware allows it to you, you want to go with two passes full resolution. Multipass mode is used to determine whether a second pass is used in encoding and has three settings disabled, quarter or full resolution. Enabling this will give higher quality at the cost of more GPU resource usage. As I said, in our case we want to reach best possible results so we are going with two passes full resolution. Next we got it. Profile, make sure that you will choose high. Most people should use high which will allow you to use full hardware acceleration for better encoding. If you notice your stream is lagging or dropping frames, kick it down to main which is less taxing on your PC but won't give you an image as sharp as high. Next we got it function look ahead, that is basically function that is adaptively changing B frames. If you are streaming dynamic content, then it is better to disable look ahead and specify 2B frames. In my case, as I'm streaming quite a lot of dynamic content, I'm keeping it unchecked. Next we got here Psycho Visual Tuning. It allows the encoder to sacrifice some parts of an image to enhance other parts to make overall perceived visual quality better to a human eye. Therefore, you can basically keep it checked, but of course, once again, you can simply experiment and in case your stream would look a bit better with this unchecked, you can keep it this way. Okay, next we got here GPU. Here you want to keep it at a zero if you have single one graphics card. If you have two graphics card in your PC, you want to set here one because this is usually the better graphics card. In my case, I have one, so I will put here simply zero. And lastly, we got max P frames. We will set it to two. Don't forget to click on apply. Okay, now let's take a look in case you have X264. That means your CPU is much more superior towards your GPU or you don't have the NVIDIA graphic card. Rescale output we can keep at the 1920 1080 because I want to stream in 1080p. Ok, now let's go for the encoder settings. Here make sure that you have set CBR, what is constant bitrate rate. That means that your bitrate will not change depending on your internet or whatever else. So, so make sure that you have here CBR. Now let's talk about the bitrate. Here it's much about your internet, because if you have slow upload, you cannot put much higher number towards this. So, in case your upload is less than 5 megabit, I would not advise you to go higher than 3.5 thousand and at this way I would also consider whether 1080p is best setting. I would probably go for 720 with the slow internet like this, but for this video let's say that you have good internet, you have around 10 megabit upload or even more. In case you are streaming for the Twitch, you want to set your bitrate for 6000 as this is maximum bitrate that Twitch will allow to go towards its servers. So in case you are streaming for the Twitch, you want to set your bitrate for 6000. Use custom buffer size? No. Keyframe interval set it towards the 2 as keyframe determines how often the whole picture is transmitted. So this is in majority cases used as a 2. Ok, next we got here CPU usage preset. Here you have to know how strong your PC is and actually you have to try which one works best for you. Simply say, as fast as it is, it's worse picture for your stream but also it takes less power from your computer and vice versa. As it's slower, it's so much better result in the end but also it takes so much more power from your PC. So in the end, try what works best for you but start somewhere around the fast and move towards the up and down to see which works for you the best. Ok, next we got your profile here, make sure that you are going with high tune. Here, once again, you have to choose which fits perfectly towards your live stream needs. So you have to try which one is best for you. I can tell you this one for you. And the X26 options, I'm keeping blank. Ok, and then of course don't forget to go towards the audio. And in case you are streaming in 1080p, you want to change your audio bitrate, at least at the track 1, because we checked here the track 1. You want to change the audio bitrate towards the 320. Like this, you will click on apply, and we can go towards the audio. 
Here for most applications the 44.1 kHz is sufficient, however if your audio equipment supports it and you want the best possible audio quality you can set this to 48 kHz. Then of course you want to set here your desktop audio as you can see default and your mic. You can keep it on default or you can choose which specifically mic are you using. And the rest you can keep as it is in the default. Nextly we are going towards the video, here you can see the base canvas resolution, what is basically the resolution of your monitor, in my case it's 1920 to 1080. Nextly we got here output scale, the resolution, what of course we want to set to 1080p as well as we want to stream in 1080p, 60fps. And below we got the common fps values, here we want to set it towards the 60. Like this, and thanks to this our stream will run on 1080p and 60fps. Of course, we can click on apply. Next, we got your hotkeys where you can simply put various hotkeys for muting mic, unmuting mic, changing sense, and many more. And in advanced, you can change in the general the process priority from normal to above normal or even high. So the process priority can be set to above normal or even high, but once again, depends on your stream. In case you are playing a lot of games and basically you want to keep at least some FPS in your game, you would like to keep it at the normal because as you would put it towards the high, your PC will basically prefer your performance to go towards the OBS and then your game could be laggy or dropping FPS and many more. But in case you overall don't use like your PC a much and you want to keep the main focus of this PC towards the OBS, you can set it easily towards the high. Ok, and the rest you can keep as it is. Ok, so that's all for this video. I hope you found it what you were looking for. Also be sure that you will find out the right settings for your streams and that they will look smooth as ever. And also of course, good luck in your live streaming careers. If you like this video and you want to support our channel, please hit at least this like button or subscribe. In case you want to support my tutorial journey even more, you can join our Patreon link in the description. Ok, but for now, it's really all. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and see ya in the next video.